Hello everyone, this is Period Help Australia and today I'm going to be telling you about my period nightmare story. I've only had one really embarrassing period story and it's this one and it is, yeah, quite embarrassing to me though I think that in comparison to some of the other ones out there it's really not that bad. I think that everyone who menstruates will probably have one or two embarrassing period stories in their lifetime and that's okay. And my aim in sharing this story with you is to get you to understand that, yeah, embarrassing things happen, but we get over them, we move on. So, that's what I want to share here. So, this happened uh, around, yeah, about a year ago. Um, one of my close friends, a male friend, was going to go over to England, and he was going to live there for a year, and so... Um, he was throwing like this little party thing, we were going to go to the local pool and there was just going to be a few of us friends and we'd have lunch, we'd go to the pool and we'd all just hang out and have a party before we went over to England. And I thought, great, this is going to be awesome, I'm going to just be there with a few of my friends and we'll have a great time. So I got up that morning, I went to go change into my swimmers before I left and there was just a little speck of blood on my undies. And I went, oh, it's okay, my period's not that heavy, it's just a little dot, and you know what, by the time that I, um, you know, it starts slowly, I won't make a mess, it'll be fine. So I just went, whatever. Got into my swimmers, and I got my stuff together, and we went down to the pool. Now when I arrived there, I was expecting there to be, you know, maybe ten people or so, um, a few of my friends. There was me and three guys. Now they're nice, they're my friends, they're cool, but they don't really get it, if you know what I'm saying. I should also mention at this point that I didn't use tampons, so I had no internal protection to use. I didn't use tampons and I didn't use menstrual cups, and you can't swim with a pad, so I was just like, well, I'm just going to swim with nothing on and I'm going to be fine. That's what I told myself. Oh boy, oh, I was wrong. So I was like, mm, you know what, maybe I should just see if someone's got a tampon. But they were all guys, I couldn't ask any of my friends, so I was like, oh, what if I ask one of their mums? And then I realised there was this guy's mum, who I'd never met before and I wasn't really comfortable asking her, and there was only one other mother there, and she was my maths teacher. I was not going to go to my maths teacher and ask her for a tampon. So I was like, stuff that, I'm swimming with nothing on, I'm going to be fine, I'm not going to go to a stranger for the first ever time that I use a tampon, whatever. So I went swimming, and while I was swimming, I didn't notice anything. There was no blood flowing in the pool, you didn't see anything. Um, and I'd swum without, like, when my period had just started before, and it was no big deal. So I was like, this is going to be fine. Absolutely fine. So I went swimming, we had a great day, um, said goodbye to my friend, and we got out of the pool at the end. I went and I got my towel and I wrapped it around myself and we were saying goodbye and then I felt the water from the pool trickling down my legs. Except it wasn't just pool water, it was a little bit of blood mixed in so I had red trails going down my legs. So I wrapped my towel around my waist instead but I was leaving these very slightly bloody footprints behind me. Now I'm almost certain that my male friend didn't notice this. But nonetheless, I was completely mortified. So my dad came to pick me up and I was like, um, dad, I just gotta go to the bathroom. I ran into the bathroom, except I was still in my swimmers. I didn't bring a change of clothes, so everything was damp. But I just put, um, toilet paper in my swimmers instead, wrapped that frantically around my swimmers and went out with the towel still around my waist. Uh... Then I was just like, oh crap, I just ran away from my friend who I was saying goodbye to and I'm not going to see him for a year after this, so I was like, I should probably go and say goodbye again. I went over, I said goodbye properly, and then I bolted out of there. And my sister wasn't there, my mum wasn't there, there was no woman who I could say, hey, pad please. So I just had to sit in the car, in my wet swimmers, with my period, um, going into this pile of toilet paper which had already been half soaked from my damp swimmers. So that was... Oh my god. It was horrifying to me. But the best thing about this story is that nobody noticed. Nobody knew a thing. Like, nobody could tell that I was on my period. And so even though I was freaking out, I had this terrible situation, and I was like, oh god. 
I was okay, I came out of it alive, and I'm able to now talk to you people about it. And even though I am cringing a little bit thinking back to it, I can also sort of have a laugh with my friends about it. I've told a couple of my friends and they've just laughed at it and I went, yeah, okay, fair enough. Does seem a bit funny now. So, yeah. Period. Horror stories happen. They do. But it's all okay and you'll come out the other side of it alive. I have and you will too. So even if you have a far worse experience than this, it's going to be okay and... I hope that you know that. Um, sorry about the boring backdrop for this video, it's just my storage, nothing interesting. Um, yeah, I just figured that it's better than me just showing a quilt or something, you know, pads, whatever. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video, um, maybe you had a bit of a laugh at me, maybe you're just cringing like I am. But either way, I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone!